just go to Hot Topics. Well, high school seniors across the state of Indiana will be graduating in the next few weeks, and many of them will be moving out of their family home for the very first time to go to college. You're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Well, tonight a look at one high school senior who may remember, you may remember, I should say, from a life-altering accident 15 years ago. She has overcome adversity to be among the top students in her high school class, and now teachers at Ball State are already setting her up for more success in the future. Sorry. You're doing your mail line? Oh, I'm so excited. I am excited. Me too. Fashion design instructor Valerie Burke has been excited by teaching at Ball State for two decades. And that's one of your images. You know, I feel like you're blessed if you have an opportunity to change a person's life. She has moved the program from glorified home economics to a comprehensive business course. The fashion design program here at Ball State is an extensive one, taking students from basic sewing skills to knowing everything they need to know about the fashion industry in four years' time. Valerie has helped hundreds of students along that path over the years, and this year she'll take about 30 new students. You may already be familiar with one of them. 18-year-old Emily Hunt is enrolled for the fall semester. The little girl paralyzed by an amusement park accident 15 years ago is now a young woman in the top 10% of her graduating class at Brownsburg High School with big dreams for her future. I kind of, as I said, I've grown up in a wheelchair so I know what works and what doesn't work and um, I don't really remember the early stuff just, um, but since I've grown up in it I know what works and I'm happy. When we first met her in 1996, it appeared that happiness might be hard to come by for Emily. A kiddie train at Old Indiana Fun Park jumped the track, killing her grandmother and leaving Emily paralyzed from the neck down. Just for a good cause. Her family formed a foundation to raise money for spinal cord research, and thousands of Hoosiers rallied to support her. Everyone who has supported us, it's amazing, and um, I find that some people still kind of reach out and be like, oh, I remember... I've came to your walks, I've came to your galas. The walks and the galas ended in 2004, after the death of family friend Christopher Reeve. The Hunt family took a step back from public fundraising to focus on private matters, helping their daughter develop the courage that was so evident in the early years after her accident. She's very focused on what she wants to do. She knows where her, where her life, where she wants her life to go. So I do hope that for her and she's a very strong person I think it'll happen which leads us back to Ball State and instructor Valerie Burke Emily um, she just had a spark about her that was very unique and very optimistic you see Valerie has much more to offer Emily than just what she knows about fashion design she's in wheelchair and she knows kind of what um, people in fashion and that are handicapped um, need like adaptive sewing machines and how to get around in the fashion world like New York and LA and I'm really excited to work with her. The teacher has been battling multiple sclerosis and has been unable to walk on her own for 11 years. Her new student will learn about her chosen field from someone who shares the same vantage point. All those little technical issues and details we can certainly get around. Um, it's more about um, being engaged and um, just having that spirit of being able to accomplish, I have no doubt that she'll be successful. I just know I need to work extra hard to, um, you know, make people see past my disability, and I think I can do that. You know, one of the things that Valerie Burke offers to her students is a field trip to European fashion houses every other year. She expects Emily to accompany her one day, saying if she can do it, there's no reason that Emily can't do it as well. Wow, John. Emily and her teacher, truly inspirational. Well, it's good to see Emily all grown yeah. up, and, you know, she, yeah. is, she is doing great. She is such a joy, always has been, and I think that, you know, she's the kind of daughter that everybody would want to have. Yeah. She's a great kid. Mm -hmm. We love that story. Thank yes. you for that. Mm -hmm.